Hi, welcome to another session of Paint This right here at the Yarnell School of Fine Art nestled in the Osage Hills of Oklahoma. We love it there. It's a beautiful place and I want to keep inviting you all to come out and join us. We have people, literally folks from all around the world that come out and uh, take lessons and I know you'd enjoy this, the process as well. But as promised, we're going to start a brand new painting today and I can't wait to do this. And it's based on all the cards, letters, and all the things you all send in to us from around the world. And I want to encourage you to keep writing because it helps us know what we want to paint here on the show and in all of our school uh, you know, uh, information that we use, you know, all of our DVDs and instructional material. We need to know what you want. So keep the cards and letters coming. And another thing, remember, we're going to take a little journey around the nation and we'll start painting things from different states. I think we've already done Texas and Oklahoma and I think Arkansas, a few others. Now we're going to venture down into the Gulf uh, area around Mississippi. We're going to be in Biloxi, Mississippi. Now, I'm not doing the same painting, but many, many years ago, I did a painting uh, of some of the shrimp boats. And we have recently been just bombarded with a whole bunch of letters from some of you that are asking to do more of the harbor scene, the shrimp boats, and things like that. So we're going to do that. And uh, so this first painting we're going to do is called um, Biloxi Shrimpers. And so it's in Biloxi, Mississippi. And I think I told you the story a long time ago. I originally went down there with the Flying Physicians convention as one of their guest artists. And I took a bunch of pictures we'll talk about here in a minute, but I want to go through a few things real quick to kind of get us started. Also made you a promise that from time to time I bring you little, little tidbits of information, little tips and things on painting. And today we're going to do something a little different. This is a traditional stretch canvas, folks, uh, a 12 by 24. It's on stretch canvas. I've tinted it with my traditional sort of a dove gray. But now we're going to be using what's called a gallery wrap. Now you see this, uh, this is a canvas that's wrapped around the edge and stapled on the back. Everybody see that? Well, that's a real common thing now. This is really the end thing. And you can, by the way, you can get these in different widths. This happens to be an inch and a half. You can get them, you know, in an inch, two inch, three inch, you can get them real wide, or you can have some custom made ones. And the reason for that is today, people, a little more uh, modern attempt to, you know, have to put certain frames on there. You can just paint the edge and hang them on your wall and little groupings. For example, I've got one I'm working on here. It's not finished, it's a little hummingbird painting. Now here's an example. I'm doing the painting now, this is about two thirds done. And if you'll notice how you paint around the edge. Now some of you have already seen this and already doing this. A lot of my students back at the studio do this. But see, so you just paint around it and there's no staples to get in the way. Then all you gotta do is just hang it on the wall. Now in the back here, you see these little uh, pegs, these are those little wooden pegs. We've talked about this